Hello and welcome. Welcome back subscribers. Welcome if you are new. I am Carly. This is my channel, Sunshiny Soul and Tarot. Today's messages are for Taurus. Taurus Sun, Moon, Rising, any strong placement of Taurus uh, in your chart for March 1st through the 15th, 2024. We are building towards the new moon, which will be in Pisces on March 10th, and that does open the pre-eclipse doorway. So yes, we are moving into eclipse season, ready or not. Uh, thank you for the likes, subscribes, and comments. They do make a difference for the channel. Also, all of my services are listed below. Uh, if you feel called to check those out, there's also a discount available for you as a first-time client. All right, Taurus, let's get you an overall energy. There it is. Ooh, Taurus, you've got the coyote spirit. Trust in divine detours. Whoo, okay, interesting. If there's any energies that can give us a detour, it is e during eclipse season, okay? So um, this message for you, Taurus, is to be mindful and aware that if a big change or something doesn't go as planned or you're uh, end up in a completely different direction in a specific situation or relationship or whatever it is, Letting go and trusting that can be really, really hard, but there is an opportunity available for you to trust in divine detours. It may not feel divine in the moment, but your higher perspective and awareness will allow you to see the good. There is a wonderful quote that says, life is happening for you, not to you. And when you embrace that, you can see that there is a positive out come or opportunity or silver lining in any situation, even the really, really difficult ones. So life is happening for you, not to you. So the coyote spirit here is just a reminder for you that sometimes things don't always go the way that we want them to, but there is a divine detour happening. So allow yourself to redirect or to, you know, change directions as you are guided to. And without resistance as much as possible, okay? Let's get the rest of the cards out here. I am gonna do a little different spread. I'm gonna pull six cards and then I will clarify uh, if I feel called to do so, okay? Three more cards, please. Okay, beautiful, Taurus, starting out with, we've got Seven of Pentacles, the Sun, and the King of Wands. So immediately here, I'm noticing just the energy around this Seven of Pentacles, which really can speak to patience, waiting. Um, you've already done the work, you've already planted the seeds, and now you're waiting for the fruits of your labor to arrive. And this is where I'm hearing there may be a divine detour. So you may have planted all of these seeds and you know put, out, put in a lot of energy and effort into a specific thing and you're waiting and you're waiting and you're waiting. And maybe the fruits of the labor don't come for this, but they're coming from something else or something different. So uh, this is where you're being asked to just really trust Taurus. Um, and the work that you've put in and the seeds that you've planted, they have not gone to waste. None of that was a waste at all because the other cards here, we've got uh, King of Wands and the Sun card. So there definitely is clarity coming in. And this King of Wands energy, Taurus, I am seeing as a very, very strong person, either someone that you know and you're already involved with, or this is somebody new coming in for you, that there is a very strong physical chemistry and romance and connection, okay? Uh, it could be a Leo. We've got the sun energy here, but we've also got other fire, Leo and Sagittarius, uh, or Sagittarius and Aries available. Um, so there's someone coming in hot and heavy for you, Taurus. And, you know, maybe you've been planting your seeds and putting your energy into a different relationship or another person that just hasn't quite got off the ground yet or just hasn't quite moved to the next level or the next phase. And the universe is like, hey, we're going to do a divine detour and we're going to bring in this passionate fire sign who just thinks you are amazing and wants all the things that you want and the energies and just align. 
So this is the divine detour or one of them, Taurus, coming in. So, um, but it may be hard for you to see at first. You know, when I'm looking here, this seven of pentacles, look, the head is turned away. So make sure that you don't miss an opportunity here, Taurus, or you're not distracted by, you know, the seeds that you've planted and what you've been wanting and wishing for. The universe may be like, hey, that's not working. We're going to move you over here to a different path and a different direction where the sun is shining, where the growth is happening, where the expansion is, where the love and the joy and the honeymoon phase and all of that is available. So trust, Taurus, trust. This person coming in for you, I just hear they're coming in hot and heavy, okay? So whatever that means, and again, a lot of fire energy. It could be Leo, Sagittarius, or an Aries coming in for you. Next card up, we've got the world card. So yes, there is a cycle that you are completing, Taurus. You are wrapping things up. You are coming into a place of wholeness and completeness and you know, the world card just seems really fitting for what you're going through right now because uh, you're letting go of what has not been working and you're having a divine detour in a different direction. So that is bringing a cycle to complete in one way or another. Also, the world card in regards to love and a relationship, it speaks of two whole individuals coming together as one. So it's not codependent, it's not enmeshed, it's like two healthy individuals choosing to come together as one. And I believe the cycle that you're closing out and releasing, Taurus, is relationships that have had, you know, um, challenges and an out of balance energy here with the Six of Pentacles. Relationships where you're giving more than you're receiving or you're underappreciated or there's very high expectations or whatever it is. There's just, this shows lack of balance and lack of resonance and lack of cohesion is coming through. I don't even know if that's a word, cohesion, like cohesive. So you and the relationship or the person that you've been trying with, the universe is saying it just hasn't been working. It's out of balance. You're not getting what you deserve. It's causing a lot of chaos in the mind and the mental thinking. And the universe is like, hey, we're going to wrap this up, Taurus. We are diving in with a divine detour because look at this that wants to come in for you. So... Change of scenery, Taurus. I do see a different relationship, a different person coming in for you. Um, you know, that can be really hard. That can be a challenging thing to accept, uh, even though the new coming in is so exciting and so beautifully aligned, it can still be sad to let go of what you were hoping for and wishing for. So I'm definitely, you know, validating you and your feelings and what you have been experiencing. And it's a bummer that it didn't get off the ground because you did put in the work, but you know what? You're dedicated and you're focused and the universe is like, hey, you're still going to be rewarded um, by the work that you've put in and the seeds that you have planted. It just may not be from the person that originally you thought it might be. This is the divine detour and uh, you being asked to really trust in that, okay? So again, we've got earth energy. It could be another Taurus or a Capricorn or a Virgo. We've also got strong fire, very strong Leo energy and also Sagittarius and Aries, okay? Those really are the only energies uh, in this reading. Let's see any other? Oh, yes, of course this message would come through for you, Taurus. Surrender and release. I mean, do I even really have to say anything? That's kind of what the messages have been. Uh, surrendering, trusting, releasing what, you know, is it just not working or not aligning for you and allowing in that new energy, um, you know, the new flow of energy. And the universe knows what's going on and it's always there to support us and guide us. So, you know, just trust that, let go of where maybe you're gripping or really wanting things to be a certain way and trust in the divine detour. All right, easier said than done, I know. Beautiful, your spirit animal message, Taurus, is the raccoon inventor. <laughs> the first sentence, decide on what you really want. You have the ingenuity to claim it. Avoid being the trickster and practice integrity. 
You have many roles and can juggle them well. This is reminding you, Taurus, that you can change, that you can shift, that things can move and be different than what we thought they were going to be. So the raccoon spirit here is guiding you and protecting you through March 15th um, as the inventor energy. So creating what it is that you want. Remember, you could be wanting one thing, but the universe is delivering another because it's in a higher alignment for you. So it's always good when we're wishing or hoping for things um, to affirm that or better, okay? And that really leaves it open for the universe to do its work and to bring in its magic. Um, I already pulled one of those. Okay, that, that's the, the last message that's coming through for you, Taurus. So I hope this resonates. Um, if, if not, you can always watch your moon sign, your rising, um, any other placement of Taurus. Thank you again for the likes, subscribes, and comments. Uh, they do make a difference for the channel and I mentioned in the beginning all the services that I offer are listed below if you feel called to check those out. There is also a 15% discount for you, okay? That's it, Taurus. I'm wishing you a beautiful start to March and again that new moon in Pisces on the 10th will open up the pre-eclipse doorway and I will see you back here for the second half of March readings. Take care.